I'm really excited to be here in my home with my neighbor. A few weeks ago, I told you all about when I started the garden, which was about two years ago, and I uh, took some things over to my neighbor. She brought it back to me and then said, next year, she's going to help me out. Well, lo and behold, earlier this year, about March or April, I would say, I looked out my window and I saw somebody working in my garden, <laughs> went down the driveway and met this guy who's now become a dear, dear friend. He's at the table with me. His name is Ken Chambers. I've been telling you all about him and uh, we get a chance to chat this morning. Good morning. Yes, yeah, sir. Tell us about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Selma, Alabama. Selma, Alabama. Selma. Uh, <clears throat> about six miles outside the city. Selma is a city. <laughs> it, it's a little area, a rural area called Sardis. That's where I was born. Hmm. I was born in Sardis. Uh, I was number 12 of 13 siblings. 13 My siblings. parents had 13 children. Oh. And I was number 12. Wow. And you all, I understand, grew up on a farm. Yes. Tell us about that. My parents was really broke, but we had mules. <laughs> yes. We had mules that we plowed the fields with. Uh -huh. And my, later on, my father... Y'all didn't have tractors. You had mules. We started off with. We, then my dad got a tractor. Okay. My father was the first black man down there in that area to get a tractor. And it was a used tractor. A John Deere 1939 model. What you say? Yes. Well, you learned a lot of values on that farm. Mm -hmm. And I was telling you about my sermon series, The Road Home, okay. in which we're talking about core values. And when I said that to you, you talked about your military experience and you were in uh, what? You were in what? The I was Army? in the Navy. Mm -hmm. I joined the Navy after I graduated from high school. And at that time, I was in a club in high school and junior high school called the 4-H Club. They mm -hmm. still have those. It's kind of like a junior training vocational skill thing that gives you an idea of what do you want to do when you finish school. Mm -hmm. And we, summertime, we would go on trips, camping trips, and we would have projects assigned to us at the beginning of the school year. You either had mechanical projects Agriculture projects mm -hmm. is either one. You do mechanical, that being messing with motors, uh, fans, and air conditions. Agriculture means that you're going to produce something that could be edible or used as to feed something. Mm -hmm. I always liked the agriculture, so that took my interest. I had an opportunity when I was in 11th grade at my high school. I got voted in. The high school could only send two people and they had to vote the student body. They voted for me to go to Washington, D.C. At that time, the President of the United awesome. States was President Ronald Reagan. And the trip was half funded by the 4-H Club. The other funding was provided through the church, the sky school, your parents, whoever, whoever made donation. I was reluctantly got to go to Washington D.C. and didn't cost me nothing. I was blessed that people liked me that much and liked the way that I had my projects that in the state fairs I always go in first place. Wow. So that's how I got nominated uh -huh. to go and represent my school from the state of Alabama. Wow, you're a smart guy and you went as far as the Navy SEALs. Yes. In the Navy. Yes. Which is awesome. Which was after I had been in the Navy almost 15 years. You have to be accepted. You just don't join the Navy and says, I'm going to be a SEAL. Yeah. Now tell us about the core values that you taught in the Navy. Three. Honor, courage, and commitment. If you instill those in values to anyone on the street, seventh graders, 10th graders, high school dropouts, people on the street, cousins, if you tell them and ask them to accept or think about having core values, 
Those three things. Mm -hmm. The honor. Honor. Courage. Courage. And commitment. Commitment. Commitment being serious at all. If you commit yourself to doing something, you have to stick with it. I have, and I told you the other day, mm -hmm. I have never met nobody that has tried to do something one time and it came out perfect. Yeah. It's not possible. 